Good morning boys and girls and welcome back to the farmyard classroom. Farmer Hannah here. Now in our previous video, Caring for Animals, you may remember that animals and humans need a few things to survive. Things like water, air and food. Now animals can be sorted into groups depending on what type of food they eat. And we're going to explore that today. We're also going to talk about food chains and the different types of food chains we have on the farm. What is a food chain, I hear you ask? Well, let's go and find out. Come on. Some animals just eat meat and they're called carnivores. Can you say carnivore with me? Carnivore. Well done. Now we've got one very important carnivore on the farm. That's our farm cat, and she's called Mabel. We'll see if we can find her a little later on. There are also carnivores in the woods. Some owls are carnivores, and they eat things like mice. But not these mice. These mice are safe in Little Hoppington. Other animals just eat plants and they're called herbivores and we've met a few herbivores in our videos so far. Do you remember what some of them were? Sheep are herbivores and llamas too. And don't forget the horses. Some animals eat both meat and plants and they're called omnivores. Can you say omnivore? There are lots of omnivores living in the countryside around Bockett's farm. Hedgehogs, badgers and foxes. Have you met any of those? We've also got some omnivores on the farm here. Should we go and meet our pigs? Come on. Our pigs are omnivores. They use their noses to dig in the ground looking for bugs, grubs and worms. But they also eat plants, like fruits and vegetables. Which group do you fit into? Are you a herbivore, a carnivore or an omnivore? What do you like to eat? Food chains. What is a food chain? Now all living things need energy to survive and some animals get that energy from eating plants and others from eating meat. Now plants make their own energy by using the sunshine, the air and water but other animals can't do that. A food chain is a good way of showing how animals depend on their food for energy. Now to give you an example of a food chain, a caterpillar will eat the plant, a mouse will eat the caterpillar and then an owl will eat the mouse. Or here at the farm where we've got lots of sheep, the sheep eat the grass, the sheep are then eaten by us you might have lamb at dinner time. Now at the time of this time of year, there are lots of foxes around and the foxes have their cubs. So another animal that might eat a lamb is a fox. But don't worry because Farmer Martin puts lots of sticky black tar on the back of the lamb's neck. It's called Stockholm tar and it tastes disgusting. But that's all right, because the fox then decides he'll have something else for dinner that night. Now there are lots of different food chains, but most food chains will start with a plant and end with a big hungry animal. Now animals that eat other animals are called predators. Can you say predator? Well done.
and the animals that they eat are their prey. So let's recap. Do you remember what an animal is called if it just eats plants? How about if it just eats meat? And what do you call an animal that eats both plants and meat? I'd also like you to think about your favourite animal and draw the food chain that that animal is a part of. Do you know where that animal comes from and where you find it in the wild? And how about next time you're having a meal with your family? Have a look at your plate and think about where that food has come from. Has it travelled a long way or has it been grown in this country? And don't forget to upload your drawings to Facebook. I'd love to see them. So until next time, goodbye everybody.